Happy June 29th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy selected one of the seashells that lay upon an altar in the final room of this ancient buried temple. She picked the correct shell for when she blew it, the hill she was standing on began to move and rise. The second ancient guardian has been summoned, and that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Yep, <laughs> there he is. Uh, okay. Karkinos, the guardian of the deep, awakens from its long sleep. Emerging from its chamber, it sheds the clinging mud and stands upright, its colossal claws clicking like thunder in the vast room. Its sharp gaze fixes upon you, viewing you as a delectable morsel <laughs> as it approaches with its legs moving in a chaotic dance, predicting its next action becomes a challenge due to the bewildering array of motions. See special instructions. Okay, the rotunda erupts in a confounding blur of motion as a multitude of pincers and legs move around you. The dizzying movement makes it difficult to land a solid strike. Um, and it's normal combat, except we're going to be making an intellect roll to avoid confusion during combat. And if we're confusion, if we're confused, uh, we have disadvantage on our damage. So we roll damage twice if we hit, and we take the worst. Okay, it's got 35 health. We need to, uh, yeah, we need to do 35 points of damage. Uh, and this page ends when either we do 35 points of damage or we die. <laughs> so, uh, here we go. We need to beat a defense of 16, and we do with our roll of 17. Now we do our intellect roll, um, 1. So, uh, we hit, but Ivy's confused. So we're going to roll damage twice here. Um, right, we do 2d10. Wow, that's 19 points of damage, but, um, and 10. So we take the worst, so we do 10 points of damage. So Karkinos is down to 25. Um, and now we need to defend against its attack of 16. So we need... We need a 17 or better. 3 plus our defense of 7 is 10. We are not going to get 7 more points. So we take D4 points of damage. 1. Outstanding. Okay. So this is Karkinos. And this is Ivy. Uh, Ivy's down to 22. Okay. That was round 1. Round 2. We want to, we're going to attack. We want to hit the defense of 16. 9 plus 7 is 16. We do hit. Are we confused? 13 plus uh, 1 is 14. We are not confused. So we're going to just take whatever we get here. Wow. Uh, 15 points of damage. Outstanding. Karkinos is down to 10. That was a devastating hit on Karkinos. Um, but he does get to attack now. So, we need to defend. We miss 17 or better, and we get it. So, I believe we take no damage. There's, sometimes there's a partial damage. This looks like it's just damage or not. So, um, all right. That was round two. Round three. We attack. A 20. Excellent. We get a boom die that we will hold on to. Um intellect are we confused 12 plus 1 intellect is 13 um and oh that's what we have to be is that what it says if your intellect rule is less than 13 so it, perfect um we're not confused we'll take whatever damage we do here nine oh <laughs> he's down to one health wow he, uh, he is not happy, I'm sure. Okay, we want to defend against his attack. Um, that is on the edge. I'm going to re-roll that because that was weird. 19, um, we defend easily. We take no damage. Okay, 
So that was round three. Round four, uh, our attack does not land. Well, seven plus three is ten. Could we get six more points? Um, six more points is asking a lot. We have our boon die. Um, we want to add to our attack. We have a combat tonic. It's possible. Um, and we have Enid. Six is a lot, though. Uh, and we're doing fine. We have taken almost no damage. So we'll, I think we'll just let that, we'll let that whiff. Um, and now we want to defend against uh, his attack of 16. Our defense is plus 7. So we do defend. And uh, I believe this is round 5. Oh, that's a total failure on our attack. So are we confused? We are not. Oh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, that only matters if we're going to hit him. So now we need to defend against his attack of 16. We need a 17. And we have 7 plus 7 is 14. Can we get three more defense points? We should. Um, Ivy has Luminous Shield. So we'll use one of our Surges. We need three more. Uh, 7, 14. Yeah, we need three more points. So one Surge on Luminous Shield. And what do we get? Three. That's exactly what we needed. Perfect. So we defend. All right. I think this is round six. Um, that's our attack. <laughs> Ten. So we'd need seven more points. I don't think that's happening. So our defense. Uh, we do defend. Uh, we would get a boon die, but um, we already have one. So you can only have one at a time. Okay. Uh, so we take no damage, and here we go again, <laughs> and we miss again. Uh, do we defend? We do. Okay, <laughs> round, what is this, eight? Uh, three, we fail to hit, and oh, we fail to defend, I'm pretty sure. Nine, we'd need eight more points. I don't think that's going to happen. So we'll take, we take one point of damage. Ivy's down to 21. Okay. What is this round? This has got to be like round 10 or something. Uh, everybody's got to be getting tired. 5 plus 7 is 12. We need we need 4 more points. So let's use our, let's use our boon die. Uh, that gets us a d4. It's 3 more uh, points. So that's 15. We need just 1 more point. Um, so we can either use our combat tonic or Enid. That gets rid of the boon die. Our, uh, our ability that adds one to, um, things only works on items. So it doesn't apply to that boon die. It won't apply to this. Um, we're going to try to let Enid help us. Um, where's Enid? Enid the frog archer. Enid Willowfoot. If we draw a... Spade that is greater than or equal to seven, we hit. And nope, <laughs> not even close. Okay, uh, I guess we'll use the combat tonic. What does the combat tonic do? Add d4 to an attack roll. Um, we will get at least two points for that. That's all we need. That uses our combat tonic. Um, I believe we can use those potions whenever we want. I think it's the healing potion you can only use. Let's check the rules. Somewhere. Somewhere there's rules. Here we go. Combat. Um, let's see. For abilities, you may decide to use them once you see the outcome of a round. Um, you can use healing abilities in the middle of a combat page. During combat, a health potion can only be used at the beginning or end of the page, not the middle of combat rounds. You can use other items in the middle of combat, such as Dragon's Fire or Combat Tonic, but not a health potion. So, we use our Combat Tonic, we hit him, and uh, we only need to do one point of damage. So, none of these rolls really matter, but for completion, so, oh, well, I guess it does matter, because we get a boon die. That is on our confusion roll. Um, and we are not confused, so we'll take whatever this damage is, 12, he's down to negative 11. So we, we've done our 35 points of damage, and now it says, 
Growing increasingly agitated by its inability to capture you, the crab shifts its posture, unveiling a fresh strategy for its assault. Collect 2d6 amber for defeating Karkinos on this page. Excellent. So here's a couple of six-sided die. We get five amber. That takes us to 31. And... And since this is Saturday and Sunday, we can do the Sunday lottery. Why don't we? So <laughs> at some point in the middle of this battle, this epic battle with the second ancient guardian. <laughs> well, let's see. Um, what did we get? Four. A giant snail. <laughs> Five. Wearing a tiara. Oh, we've had that one before. Let's do a different one. Uh, chewing gum and sporting a baseball cap with the letters SL, undoubtedly standing for Sunday Lottery. Um, sails in on a ghost ship, crewed by skeletal pirates. <laughs> and he has a box. Um, the box has a slot in it. We can put two amber in. And when we open it, what do we find? Uh, I forget. I wrote this down. Back to the front of the book. What do we have? Rolled a four. So we gained two amber. Inside are four amber. Our original two and two more. So I'm going to add two. We're up to 33 amber. Thanks, snail buddy. And that, my friends, is June 29th and 30th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.